going on, ladies and gents? We are here for T3G along with Full Throttle. And uh, we're doing our weekly roundup of TV shows. And this week we had a season finale, actually. We yeah. had uh, the Constantine season finale. Um, so I'd like to start with that. Yeah, that's fine with me, man. Uh, man, that was. Uh... So I kind of call that. I kind of call that reveal. Yeah. Um, as soon as as soon as soon uh, Papa Midnight told him, uh, you know, there's a darkness and it's heralded by somebody close to you, no one else close to him had any kind of right. ties that would be able to do sure, that. Right. Um, and then the other day, last time I think when we talked about it, I was like, you know, he's got darker wings. Right. They're not white wings. Although when he flew off, he had whiter wings. I they were light. Yeah, they were lighter. And it was one of those things that I was like, man. And as soon as like, they work for me. And I was like, uh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I wasn't super, like, I wasn't hyped. You know, there wasn't really a huge reveal for me. Yeah, it's, I mean, it kind of goes into, uh, uh, you know, I watch Supernatural. And sure. then in there they have angels going bad and yeah. doing bad things. And it's just like, you've revealed it. And that's basically how I felt. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. that's, well, I mean, it was like, okay, you know, I, as soon as he, as soon as they, as soon as the scene started, mm -hmm. with Papa Midnight being in the back of the car, I knew what was going on. Yeah. Like, I knew right away. I didn't even have to wait for the scene to happen. I just knew what was going to happen. Yeah. Just cause well, it was, it was one of those things, like, everything else, obvious. everything else was done. Right. So I was like, what else are you going to do? And it was just kind of weird, because, um... Because I feel like at the beginning of the show, now I don't remember specifically, but I feel like at the beginning of the show, he kind of set out like a rule that he was only revealed himself to him right. out of necessity. Right. So that when he started showing himself to Zed, it's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so mean, then there's a lot just, of things you can kind of go into. Plus it was a super weird episode. Like the actual bad guy well, was... I mean, the way it started... And like it, even the way it started, it was just like, oh, all of a sudden we're here with this cop, and like no explanation that they got there. I mean, I guess you don't need it, but it was right. just just the way the episode started was just super, super weird. Then just a random guy. I kind of wish if they were gonna do this as a season finale episode. Okay, and they introduced the fact that. Uh, the angels, I guess, the ultimate bad guy. Cause sure, I guess, yeah. I guess you know if they work for him. So that being said, they really should have. This episode should have focused more on Constantine fighting the real evil instead of yeah something around that more than like oh I'm gonna just like a random Satanist out just like a random Satanist and then pa uh, uh, Midnight Papa or whatever Papa Midnight yeah. Papa Midnight uh, like he's gonna be involved for a bounty that apparently was set right like oh got a got a price uh, it, just, on his head. it was just uh, I think it was just a uh, it was a thrown together episode. That's what it felt like. Yeah, it was it, just like, oh, we're gonna throw this here and here. Look at that! Boom! It's an episode. It, you know, it might have it might have ended up being one of those things that, you know, they had planned it for. You know, that was maybe two or three stories that they planned. Right. And when when NBC was like, oh, we were actually only gonna want the thirteen episodes that we originally ordered, so they were like, well, shit. So now we gotta like pack all this yeah. stuff in one. That's kind of what it maybe felt like. Is uh. I don't know. I, I want them to come back for a second season. I think if they don't come back for a second season, at least for one more season. Just like 13 more episodes. Yeah, just Which effectively is just like one season. Yeah. So like, but just finish this story. Because right now, if this comes out on, like if, if they're like, no, we're not going to do it anymore. I, I would that. never buy the, I would never buy the DVD. And I wouldn't tell anyone to buy the DVD. No, yeah. Uh, this yeah, would be no. something that like I forgot if about. They if they just cancel it, they don't finish it, they yeah. stop right here. I would never recommend this show to anybody. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Absolutely yeah. not. That's how they... You know, with all, with all the issues that we've had with it overall, like, it's been an enjoyable show, but if, if you end it here... It's not an enjoyable there's, show. There's not even a so point So, like, to it. it's enjoyable if you continue it. Yeah. And finish some of the story. Like, at least give us some kind of end. Yeah, we need to know, like, so this, you know, he, the whole time we've been being told that Manny's kind of been around since yeah. the dawn of time. And, you know, he's seen it all. So, I mean, like, I can understand somebody working for that long and being um, disenfranchised with their job. Not that I've ever been that guy, but I might have been that guy. Right. You know, you work for a company for four years and then... You're just kind of like, well, yeah, there's no other motion. Nothing else is happening. Right. So I might as well try something different. So but I mean, it's just, it's like I said, uh, overall, I'm not, 
I, I would say I was disappointed with that. Yeah, so it was like, definitely a disappointing. The episode. reveal wasn't anything spectacular. And they're already um, ruining it. They're already ruining right. it. Like it's been what three days since the episode aired, yeah. and they're on. Um, they've got like a video, a, cl a clip video on Facebook, of the the entire plot. Like the reveal is in in the video. Oh wow! Yeah, well, they're just like talking about the show. It's just like the directors or whatever. And I wasn't even listening to the audio. I was watching something else. I just had him to hit play, and it's like literally like. Point for point, like everything that they covered in the, in the episode. And I was like, well, there's not even a point to watch that episode then. If, if people see that video Yeah, first. it's like, <laughs> like, oh, okay, so Manny's the guy. Cool. Because, like, they, they literally, like, played that part where he says, oh, so you work for, the, you know, for, for a level of Yeah, and he's like, no, they work for me. And I was like, okay. So then there's really no point to watch the episode. Right. But I guess they're trying to get it hyped. I guess they're trying to, you know, do the whole, because I guess there's a hashtag, uh, Save Constantine. So, yeah, I but mean, I mean, it's technically, no, no one, no one has said. No, there's been no release by NBC that says it's on the chopping block. They just yeah, wanted no, the thirteen to, to figure out what else they're gonna out. do. Yeah, to basically figure it out, and uh, you know, they have to. I mean, they don't have to, but they really should release next season thirteen more episodes. If they don't want to continue with it, just order thirteen more episodes, finish the story, and Absolutely. be done with it. Sure. Do not just cut it off here, because if you cut it off here, you're not going to make any money off the DVDs, mm -mm. because everybody's going to look at it the same way. It was shit. Yeah. Unless you actually give us some kind of ending, this makes zero... Yeah. There's nothing fun about this. Exactly. I mean, it's the same thing like with... Uh, and I think actually... No, this was ABC. Well, the uh, Flash Forward, when they did Flash Forward, and it was one season, and you really wanted the next season, but like... It's been on DVD for, you know, five years now, and I've still not bought it because yeah. I'm really mad about how that show ended. Yeah, like, absolutely. it was just like, oh, we, there's all this stuff we're going to do in season two, and it's like, canceled. Like, oh, yeah. you then. Yeah, man. I mean, it's just, here's hoping they do continue it on because I would like to see the story unfold. Um, I'm starting to not like the actor of Constantine. I don't know, this, man. This episode really, he it, just... It just definitely, it, it felt like a really bad episode overall. I think that the acting was really subpar across the board. Across the like, board, Because, like, previously, yeah. I liked Papa Midnight, but in this one, it was just kind of like, meh. Yeah. There was really no outstanding performances. Maybe it's just due to the episode being crappy. It could be, yeah. Yeah. So, I, I guess we'll leave it at that. It's just, uh, unfortunately, a crappy Thumbs episode. Down. Thumbs, Thumbs down. Thumbs down. <laughs> but, uh, but I do hope that they get 13 more this is, yeah they, I just want to they I just give want, us more story. of the story yeah. do a better job in the next 13 I'm, I'm sure if they do a better job in the next 13 they're yeah. going to get an audience that they want well they got a ratings boost on this final episode 6% six, 6 I think they said of, of above the previous season right. the previous episodes so I mean hopefully that gives them enough incentive to absolutely to get yeah. that next season yeah, going um, let's talk about uh, well, Agent Carter Agent Carter yeah, we can do Agent Carter. Yeah, I like Agent Carter. Um, so we can't talk about Agent Carter because he didn't see Agent Carter. So let's talk about Gotham. We'll talk about Agent Carter in another video. Yeah, we'll talk about two episodes next time. Yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> so, Gotham. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Gotham. It just, man. Get off Fish Mooney. Man, yeah, really? Get off Really? Me. Like, she didn't convince nobody. That was Like, like I didn't see that coming. Like, yeah, as, soon, as, soon, so as, soon, as soon as she was in that place and it was like that guy's in charge I'm like she's going to kill him and then she's going to be like I'm in charge now right and, and that's uh, what happened that's exactly what happened right like, and how she was going to do it was a call too because oh like, yeah I mean that's that's, that's her way. whole game yeah I, that was uh, man I just I really want to be done with that character I know they want to keep her because she's an A-list actor so she, she I got is, nothing against her as an actress she she does wrong. a great job I just don't uh, like that character yeah no. like she, she so you know, it's it's that it's a common thing that happens on TV shows, especially the the character is what I don't like. Right. Like on on Dexter, I hated Deb's character. I thought it was the actress being just really bad at her job. Watched a bunch of movies with her; she's great. Yeah, yeah. I really didn't like that character. No, it's just so I was like, you know, I I'm a huge fan. The only fan. time I actually liked, which is a side note, but the only time I started liking Deb was the last season when. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things that, you know, I really like uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. She's been great in a yeah, lot of other just, stuff. Yeah. I just, 
really don't like Fish Mooney as a character. Yeah, she overall, like there's so many um, other things they could be exploring, but like let's just man. let's keep beating this dead That's horse. That's the biggest thing. I mean, like they showed uh, I believe it was in this episode where Maroni come, shows up in the club with Penguin and tells him as soon as Falcone's gone, you're gone. Yeah. Uh and that was fun and that's what I want them to focus on because I don't care about Fish Mooney. Like I don't think she'll ever make an impact like that's going to like matter to Falcone and or Maroni either one so right it's like she's not never... yeah she's not going to be any kind of real competition she's right. not so I, I I personally wish they would just get off of that part um honestly I'm, I'm trying to it's slipping my mind but what did uh Gordon do this episode he was uh oh yeah he was after uh the Scarecrow. Well, yeah. Scarecrow's dad. Scarecrow's dad. Well, uh, I thought that was an interesting part of the episode. Um, you know, how to get over the fear or how to lose fear. That was interesting. It was um, interesting how they did it. Um, it, was, it was definitely a completely different origin right. um, for, for Scarecrow. So it, it's interesting now to think about where they're going to go with this. Also, did you, did you notice the little throwaway? As soon as he said it, I was real mad about it. So... Like, early on in the season, they were talking about maybe including the Grayson parents, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They talked about said, the circus. he said, do you want to go to the circus? And I was like, son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. Because I really don't want them to do that. I really don't want them to do that. I hope was, not, man, because it would make oh, no sense. Man. It would make no sense. Oh, I mean, I man. guess the Grayson's before Dick because that's the Oh, yeah, the it would have to be. It would have to be. It would be the oldest, the elder... Was it elder brother? Yeah, it was the elder brother. As a little kid. Yeah, the elder brother would have to be the little kid. And then the parents, so it was just, it would just literally be a fan service moment. Right. It was like, you can't kill them, you can't, have, nothing bad can happen. You can't do nothing. nothing. It's just, like, them, it's just like, we went to the circus, there was the Flying Graysons. And that's it. And now we're back from the circus. And that's it. <laughs> that's the only thing. And it's just, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. dumb, it's a dumb fucking thing to do. I really don't like it. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I hope, I mean, if they do it, that's cool, but as long as they do it that way. You sure. Know, hey, we went to the circus, we saw And if, they, the if it's like, oh, it's his older brother becomes Robin, well then, you. No, no, <laughs> that would be stupid. No, don't do that. Don't stop. Changing. Or it's like Dick Grayson's the same age as like no, no, no. Dick no. Grayson is not the same age as Batman. No, Q. he's not. Yeah, no, absolutely. Don't. I get you have to. I get this story from what we've already discussed. This story is basically being made up. I mean, there's no goddamn yeah. story. So that being said, I understand they got to take some things and put it in this world. Sure, but that. Doesn't mean change it that much. But like, no. Yeah, Grayson, no, that's... Dick's brother is not Robin. Dick Grayson's not the same age as Batman. So, no. Absolutely, no. I do not play that game. Yeah, because, I mean, the, 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 the concept was, the, the last time they talked about it, and it was funny, because, like, they talked about it, and then nothing was done, and now they're kind of throwing that around. They're, they said that if they show anything, they would show the Grayson parents, and maybe she'd be pregnant. Right. And I'm like, all right, that's roughly the right age right because yeah he, yeah, could, yeah, he yeah. could be he could be a, a zygote still sure and uh in what 15 years he'd be about the right age right batman would have been about five years into the in the batman right. thing it's about right yeah sure so i just it's really i just it was like unnecessary and as soon as they said it i was real mad i was right. real real mad i like the fact that gordon has a relationship with uh I always forget the her doctor. name. The doctor. Yeah. I always forget her name. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying that too. And it, and it was a little, uh, it, it was a fun playback between. I like her as an actress because she was yeah. on V, um, and she was also. I never saw that show. It was a good show. It was a good show. She was also on the um, Showtime series, um, which I haven't watched. I, I missed the last few se last two seasons, I think. But she was on um, Homeland. Okay. Uh, she's the wife on Homeland. So. I like her as an actress, and she plays off real well off of, uh, I keep forgetting the real name for Jim, uh, for Gordon's name, but uh, she plays off real well with him. Yeah. So I'm enjoying that relationship. Uh, I, but I, I, like her as a, I like her as an actress. So. I like it. I think she's doing a great job. Yeah. I think the character is really well written, which um, which is something that's like not, not necessarily a shock on this show, right. but it, it wasn't expected for her to be that well written. Right. I think she's really well written. The, the Like you said, the play back and forth really works well and I hope I hope they pursue that 
I don't want Barbara back. I want uh, Barbara. That's what I was just gonna say. I'm really happy. I want happy Barbara to gone. I want I'm, Barbara I'm, never to come well, back. That's what I was just gonna say. I'm really, really happy that Barbara hasn't been in the last two. Like episodes. I am okay with this being a completely different Batman type story, Batman universe story. Like there doesn't have to be a Barbara Gordon uh, for to be a bad girl. Like right. there, uh, somebody else can be bad girl. Right. Sure. Yeah, he can have a baby with Leslie, and she can be bad girl. That's cool. <laughs> like, I mean, listen. I mean, <laughs> She's just such a badly written character. I hate that character so much. She's just so badly written. I have nothing against the actress. I just that character is just written badly. It is, there's certain things on the show that really irk me about the character portrayal. Harvey Dent was one of them. Harvey Dent with that like freak out. Yeah, with that freak out that made no sense. Uh, made no sense. It was really annoying because it was one of those things that the reason that Two Face makes sense is that Two Face is the repressed part of Harvey Dent and. For him to like, ha, ah, like that doesn't make, like, so then when he goes crazy, like it's not unexpected. Right. Like, oh, okay, so some shit happened to him. No, yeah. And now he's crazy. Like, that makes sense because he was kind of crazy, but like no one wanted to talk about right, it. Right. He was, you know. No, absolutely. But like so, this, I don't know. Yeah, I, overall, I mean, the episode was, it was okay. Uh, I did enjoy the little bit of the uh, CGI used for the Scarecrow. I thought that was pretty cool. That was cool. Um, I like the fact that he still, like, they kind of ended that with him still dealing with that. Right. Because he had that super huge dose, dose of it. And uh, so he's still dealing with that. They had that Scarecrow happening there. So that was kind of cool. I, but it's one of those things that now I kind of feel that, like, he, being who he is, being that he has that condition now, he's never going to be Professor Crane. Right. He's never going to be There's, Dr. I mean, Crane. How, He's never going to be a psychologist, ever. He's just not. How do you do it? Like, yeah, you, you can't. Because you can't. But at some point, he just gets over it? Like, he beats it? He... Well, now, technically, he has a mental history. And I don't think you can be a doctor right. with a mental well, history of mental problems. I have no idea. Like, I don't think you I can. I can't tell you. I haven't, I haven't researched that. <laughs> but, but, like, uh, it's just one of those things. Like, you can't, you can't own a gun right. if you have a history of mental problems. Sure. And, like, this guy is literally... Just psychotic and seeing things at this point. That's, I mean, from what I've seen of the Gotham uh, medical institutions, they're not really that thorough. So they'd be, they'd probably throw him in Arkham and be like, "Well, he's crazy." So <laughs> you were right about Constantine, but you were wrong about Gotham. So yeah. the preview shows that the Joker will be shown. Next episode is all about the Joker, which is probably playing right now. It's probably playing right now. So what? Well, uh, yeah. Uh, Listen, I'm okay with it because he is a kid, so that's he. He's he looks, a kid. Yeah, he looks what? like he's about Wayne's age. What? Yeah, I'm not even. Let me, we're, we'll talk about that next week. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. We'll I'm, talk about that. I, next I said week. I was okay with that, but now that I think about it, I'm like, wait a minute, I don't, I don't know how. I feel we'll about talk that. about that next week. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. But yeah, they showed him as a kid. They showed him like literally as a kid. So that's. The thing. All right. Well, let's talk about Flash. <laughs> Actually, no. You know what? We we like those the most. We'll leave that for last. Let's talk about The Walking Dead. Let's talk about the mid season return of The Walking Dead. So mid season finale, we get a death, and it was hurtful. It, and it then hurt. mid season yeah, return, the second half, we get a death, and it it hurt. Like, that was it was rough, a, man. It was a rough. And it was one of those things. It's like, it, I hate to say it. I hate to point this out, but it always happens. At the beginning of the episode, I took a count, and there were three black guys. And I was like, one of them's going to die. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, Tyrese is kind of playing the big brother role. I'm like, Tyrese is going to die. Right. And I was pissed when he did. Well, Because that I was something say, I did not want to be, well, want to be I, right about. I, 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 will, I will say this. I'm actually kind of surprised they killed off Tyrese and not the Noah. new kid. Yeah. Yeah. I killed off Noah in a heartbeat. Dude, A, he can't run. Mm -hmm. B, he's just useless, basically. I knew it was going to be about a death. Okay? Like, it, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. It was either going to be the ramifications of Beth's death... But I didn't think it was going to be... I had no idea that it was going to be somebody else dying. Right. Until he got bit. And then I got angry because I was like, okay, play this off fast because I want to see more of this episode, right? So I was getting annoyed that it was like, okay, I don't, want, I don't want the next 15, 20 minutes of this episode about them trying to get to him because his arm... He just got bit, right? Right. And I figured they were going to go with the amputating, right? But I was like, maybe it's too late. Maybe they can't go that route because the and man has been sitting there bit. 
for a while now. Right. Where where they did with uh, uh, Herschel, they cut off his leg almost right away. Right. Right. So, and that's that's what I said. That's what I was talking to. I was talking to Erica about that, and um, I said, you know, he they can't cut it off, and she's like, but everyone's already infected. It's you know, it, it doesn't turn you. You have to die. I'm like, yeah. But I think they talked about it in like season two, mm-hmm. um, that the bite they have some sort of chemical that like kills you faster. Right. So regardless, like yeah, you can get bit here, you can get bit here twice, as we saw, yeah. and you won't die from that. But I think it's actually there's something that they're introducing in the, in in the, the system. It might be within the saliva or whatever when they yeah. bite you, but they're uh, introducing it's some sort of something obviously, yeah. and. Uh, I mean, it's just it was a, a very artistic uh, episode. It was I, just very well put together. The fact that you saw little bits and pieces in the beginning, and then how they connect at the end, and it, so, all throughout the episode to see the governor come back, I thought that was it, awesome. I liked I liked how they played that all that back and played back all the other characters and kind of it was kind of a a reflection of the decisions he'd made and everything like that. I didn't like the the the, the art direction at all of this episode no i thought somebody got it's like they had they got the new kid who was fresh out of art school their film school and they were like listen you get to direct this episode and it was just like all these really i don't know there was just a lot of a lot of stuff that was unnecessary like i didn't like the fact that they played off all that stuff at the beginning and then later i was like it was like you showed me the trailer for the season and or for the episode and then you play the episode and I'm like, that was unnecessary. But I was okay with it because they haven't really done that. You know, where where some like uh I'm trying to remember what series I'm watching, but Oh, NCIS does that all the time. Yeah, see that's <laughs> the NCIS thing, like, does that all the time. Right, it's like, like they'll show you kind with, of pictures with, of what's going to happen. Some TV shows like they'll do something really creative with an episode, and you're like, oh, that was cool. You know, like, I can't wait to see what they try with another episode. You know, and that's that's what uh, I'm afraid of. You know, because every <laughs> season has one episode that feels creative, right? And and I noticed like a lot of shows will replay what they've already done once, and they're like, "Oh, we'll do it again. And it'll be it'll feel new." Where with Walking Dead, they really haven't done anything like this. No, and, no. And I mean, it, it was it. definitely new. I just, I just didn't like it. As soon as they started doing all that, as soon as the, uh, like the, it was a very thought out execution of showing the the people with. You know the the girls, mm-hmm. the girls like you know uh, Beth and everybody, all the, all the girls with like their wounds. So while he was dying, basically while he was still trying to fight, he saw them as dead. He right. saw them well with their blood right. and everything right. from their wounds. And then when he was finally done, or he was like, "I'm accepting my fate," they didn't have that blood, and that was cool. I like that. It was very, you know, it, it was. I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for here, but it, it was definitely a nice a nice execution. I just didn't really like that for this show. Uh, it, it was a little bit too highbrow for me. It was a little too artsy. It was. It's it's like, it's like when hipsters talk about music. Like, I get it. Like it's just music. Like this is a TV show. Like play the episode. No, I get that. <laughs> That's kind of like I, if I want like a really really fancy artsy, you know, visual. I'll go see like an indie movie. I get that. And that's kind of where you get to this kind of stuff. And I feel like this this is this was something where you had some kid that just joined the staff for, for like fresh out of our, you know, film right. school and was like, I got these crazy ideas and they were like, roll with it. Well, it's <laughs> it, this was actually the way this episode was done actually was a kind of a, what's the word they use? But it was kind of, it, it's, I guess there is a director that this does this type, this style. Okay. And they kind of did it. Was an homage? Uh, an homage, thank you. That's that's what I was looking for. It, it was kind of an homage towards that director and, okay. and that style of filming. Sure. So uh, that's kind of what they, and obviously it was, a, it was a new way of doing a episode. So. Right. And with The Walking Dead, I mean, they're all about pushing this show to a level that you haven't seen on cable, you know, not yeah. if it's not HBO or Showtime. So for them to be doing what they have been, it's just, I, I personally enjoyed it. I thought it was a good way of doing an episode. I don't want to see it all the time, but it was a good way to do, especially this episode with the with his death. So, And I think you needed that because... It, his death needed to be an episode long because he was that character that was so 
Uh, he's been around. I mean, he's been around not just around, several but changes. He was, well, that's the thing. He's been through these changes. He's been through how emotional, how attached, how the right and wrong. So uh, to see him pass away, you couldn't just have him die. You needed. Right. You needed to see these ghosts that he was seeing. Them telling him that it was all right. He can let go. Uh, you needed to see that yeah. from Tyrese, and I think it was just a really good way to go. Yeah. I, I, I mean, it was a good episode, I just, I really didn't like... I wouldn't say it was their the best episode, <laughs> I don't think it was their best episode, I don't, by any means, uh, I don't think it was a, a phenomenal episode, but it was definitely a great episode, I enjoyed it, I mean, I thought it was a lot of fun, I, it was definitely... Uh, I enjoyed the artistic sure. style of it, I, I like the, that actually got me... Uh, the the beginning parts with the little like all the blood on the picture and then the girls and stuff like that that, that little stuff there that was in the beginning was what well, hooked me then I got mad that he got bit and I'm right. like they're not gonna fucking you know waste 20 minutes to get him I mean I knew they were gonna try to amputate sure but I was like is it too late and obviously it was and it's just but once you saw it all complete yeah it was just it felt like a good episode right right yeah I enjoyed it yeah. That's really all I can say for that. Yeah. There's not much. I've watched the newest one. You Are you already watching yeah, the one? I'll probably that. watching that later tonight with the lady. So what are we going next? So about Flash. Yeah. I really liked that episode. Yeah. Uh, I liked that they they really went into the the, the Ronnie and and uh, Dr. Stein like melding. Like They went really, really heavily yeah. into that. And it was so it's kind of super creepy to me in, in kind of a weird way because I know quite a bit about the Flash comics. It's weird to me to have Barry dating Linda, that's Wally's wife. So, like, it's super weird to me that they decided to make Linda Park. Once again, I haven't read the comics like you, so I had no idea. So that's kind of interesting. Thing, that's the thing that's going to like... a few things. And I knew they were going to have to introduce for him, like, a specific love interest. They're obviously not planning... I mean, they're, they're not going to do this show into the future where Wally's going to be around. Like, that show's... It's just not going to last that long. It's impossible. Right. Uh, so they're going to play these characters from both, both stories, both series sure. of, of lines, both characters. So I understand why they did it. It was still kind of weird to me, though. Mm -hmm. It was still kind of weird. Mm -hmm. They were like, she was like, Linda, and she, was, she was like, I'm a reporter, and I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> well, to me, there was a few things uh, that I didn't like about the episode. Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one was the hot pepper. He would have not reacted that way with the hot pepper. I mean, he. I get he has certain things. It's that, a ghost pepper. I understand that. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, no, I'm saying he didn't react hard enough. Like, he would have needed gallons and gallons of milk to prevent that fire. Oh, okay. Uh, for no, a second, I'm I thought he, you meant like he wouldn't. No, have... no, no. I'm saying he didn't react enough. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, he underreacted. Yeah, he straight he's up. Like, I'm, I'm gonna, he I'm straight like, up bit it. Yeah, he was like, "Hum." Dude, like, I've seen people like, cry, okay? and then he's like, "I'm good." And I've like, seen go. I've seen people cry from like. A ghost pepper like spread. Yeah, yeah. On some, where it's like got other things no, in yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I was kind of. I, I mean, see what I you're get saying. It. I see what you're saying. I get it, but at the same he time, like he would have likely had to go to the hospital. I'm saying. I mean, he, he his body obviously heals better, and like he's not affected by alcohol. So I I get there that. could be something. Sure. Sure. So maybe there's something on that, but even so, that is a hot pepper. Right. <laughs> and I expected a little more of a reaction. Um. The other thing, as much as I understand this, I get it, it has to be there, uh, I didn't like it, but when the explosion happened, they showed the military, they showed the guy that uh, uh, was yeah, go uh, get me, threatened, go get me fire uh, and uh, the fact that he's like, go get me fire well, stuff, yeah. uh, I just, I didn't like it, I don't know why, I just didn't like it, I just didn't so, like seeing him on the screen. What they're playing at, what they're playing at is what ended up... The fact that he said, go get me Firestorm... I mean, it's just all... It, well, I mean, Firestorm is the acronym of the, the project. Of the project. I which is supposed that. to create large explosions. For right. Oh, so, okay. I mean, that's that's that was kind of what they were looking for. Uh, so, they registered that, and he said, go get me Firestorm. And he, he meant whatever is creating, right. uh, ca causing that. So, um, But how did he know? I mean, it was just an explosion. 
Oh, because it's right there? Because of, like, winds and the size of it? The, but I mean, it was, it was it. in the desert. It was... But it's right next to the city. Like, he, he went out to minimum safe distance. Now, when you see, see that's, that's the messed up thing. Is it, he went out to minimum safe distance. It was still an explosion. If it was still as potent as it was supposed to be, he still killed a bunch of people in the city. Right. Minimum safe distance means you could survive at this distance. Right. It's not optimal safe di right. distance. He said he was out X amount of miles, and he said minimum safe distance. And I was like, that means people will still die. Right. Like, I hope they cover this part. Like, yeah. I hope they, next episode, it's like, oh, this whole section of the unless city died. They, <laughs> unless when they put that on there, the explosion wasn't I as lost bad. my mind mind when they put that on because that's firestorm's sure. outfit oh my god i lost my mind they put that on i was like yes <laughs> that was great that so was maybe that's how they'll explain it like because it that, like reduced it, it reduced uh the explosions effects i guess and they did say you know he, he uh wells did say you can't outrun a nuclear explosion and he definitely did outrun it mm -hmm. so i could see that maybe that reduced it somewhat and right but yeah it's gonna be well it's one of those things like they're talking about you know, he said, go get me Firestorm. And here's the thing. Eiling in the comics uh, screws over the Justice League to become the Shaggy Man. He becomes, well, not to become, but to, to basically transfer his mind into this giant, unstoppable creature. Okay. Uh, and he's also behind the Ultramarine Corps, which was supposed to be the government's response to the Justice League. Mm. So his whole thing at this point, uh, at this point in his career, is he's trying to, like... Put together the most powerful things in defense of America. Right, right, right. You know, he's that like misguided patriot. I got you. And that's why it's going to be interesting because the trailer for this next episode was it was Grodd. It was funny though. Uh, what do you mean it was? Was it Grodd? Yeah, you didn't see the trailer for this next episode. I did, and uh, what they really were focusing well, the trailer I saw, what they were really focusing on was that it was Barry in the pictures. It's Barry that's running in with uh, Reverse Flag. Oh, yeah. Well, I figured that much. It's the future Barry, so... Well, yeah. Well, that's what I figured out. I figured that but much I don't out. Remember, I, I but I mean, uh, seen Grodd. Well, there, the there was a completely other one. It was just it was just about Grodd. Oh, was it? It said... Um, it said... Uh, I forget, like... Well, it said you, you know his uh, you know his name, and it says it said Grodd, like you know it showed all the clips. I'm excited, but it was it was uh, it was Eiling. That's why I thought it was for this next episode. I mean, it might not be for this next episode, but they're talking about Grodd, and uh, they had Eiling sing like oh the, you know the voice in my head. So that's why I thought maybe it was going to be this next episode. If Eiling is trying to get Firestorm, they might come across that as well. So From I mean, it might I be two sides of the story. Will be in the next episode as well. Okay, so Robbie it might Abel, be, it might Robbie be Abel posted that this week he will be on sure. uh, Flash. Sure. So it, it might be it might be two sides of the uh, of the story, which is I mean, which is cool because that's kind of one of those things that because he's the Flash, he's got that like he can be in two places at once. So right, right, right. To have kind of two sides of the same story, it'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I overall, I I enjoyed the episode. Absolutely. Once again, I. These guys can't right now. So far, they've done nothing wrong for me. It's just certain things that I'll like. Sure. I'll nitpick on, but overall, it was still a fun episode. I I, I agree with you when they put that on him. I was like, yeah, it was yeah. Because I remember seeing uh like months ago. I, was, I remember seeing a picture of that, but it was kind of not direct. It wasn't like a light picture, mm -hmm. like in the in the daylight. So I was kind of like, okay, like I see what they did, because I think he was he was uh, he was flamed up. Uh, so that's why I saw I saw the logo right, right, and I was right. like, oh, that's cool. But it looked like he was just wearing like all black leather right, and right, that right, logo. Right. Uh, I like that it's like they put that as part of the thing that keeps him fixed. Uh, so I think it's interesting. I also think it's interesting. It was just kind of like a little throwaway, but uh, he said something like, "I think this will work best if you don't." And he you know, he lights up. He's like, "Flame on!" And I was like. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was like, oh, I was okay, like, I see what you did there. Um, I was like, that's a different universe, <laughs> like, guys. I don't think we can say that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was a little. I was like, can they do that? Yeah, I was like, that was ah, my first I thought. I think that's copyrighted. That was my, yeah, I was like, oh, that's my first thought. But uh, I, it was fun. It was just, it was yeah. a good episode. Um, if God is involved in the next one, I'm extremely excited because I had a a nerdgasm. Uh, for when they just showed him for a whole second in the sure, ending sure. of that one episode. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait for that. I can't wait to see how that goes around. Yeah, yeah, it was. It's it's gonna be interesting. I I'm 
excited to see a wider uh, a wider collection of, of, of villains for him. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and more... I, want, I, I can't wait for the season finale, I, you know, for the I'm inevitable like, season finale sure. where they all escape. Right, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I want to see more of a threat like Reverse Flash. Yeah, something Reverse more serious. Flash, something you, more serious. Yeah, more serious. Cause, and I think Grodd's going to do that. Yeah, I think Grodd, Grodd can definitely play the... The, the not necessarily arch nemesis role, but the 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 Doctor Doom role, right? He's mm -hmm. he can be the the main bad guy manipulating other players. Right. So, cause uh, Grodd, I think it's Grodd. Yeah, Grodd is one of the the Injustice League. So, I mean, if Luthor's behind oh, right, him, right, right, but right, like right. Grodd can definitely be. See what they're probably gonna end up playing if they do end up playing like a Justice League versus the Injustice League kind of thing. Uh, Merlin, so we're gonna see uh, Merlin's probably play gonna play the Luthor role. Okay, he's probably I was gonna, gonna be the I one was gonna that's gonna say, be. All right, because I was gonna say, are we gonna see uh, um, what's his name, Michael Rosbaum or whatever, to oh, come Rose? back as Luthor? Oh, God, I love that. He was fantastic. <laughs> he was a great. Listen, the problem with him is um, he got too big for his britches. He, and they kicked him off the show. Well, no, that's not what happened. What happened was he got so he he got so. Big headed that he actually wanted to leave. He's like, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this character. And then because he thought he was gonna be in movies and gonna be this right. badass man and actor. And then when they started casting for the Man of Steel, Lex Luthor, uh, he was all about it. And they were like, nobody even cared because of all the crap that he did for the, you know, how he was towards the character. Uh, yeah. So like. It wasn't even gonna happen. Hell no, uh, dude. Plus, he still looks too young. As, as old as yeah, he's absolutely. He still looks like he's, he's seventeen. He's old. He's old, but he's just got that young. But then again, man, they got Eisenberg playing Luther, so that's a thing. Yeah. Whatever. That's all side notes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I can see uh, Merlin playing that role. Uh, kind of putting together the. the I would the like Justice to see League. right. I would like to see Lex do it, but if they play it off as Merlin doing it, I'm okay with it. Well, that. it depends. I mean, if they're gonna play the. Cause so here's the thing. We'll talk about this in a minute, but they're talking about Titans, and Titans might come to CW. I, I don't. Think I they're... hope so. If it comes to CW, I hope so. It I makes think sense. All, you have all DC. You have go to you CW. have that you have that interconnectivity because he's talked about Bloodhaven all the time. You have that interconnectivity with Arrow. Yeah, he's definitely talking about Bloodhaven. But I think what's going to happen is I think you're going to have to have Deathstroke be the bad guy because he's always kind of been their bad guy. Mm -hmm. uh, he was he's always kind of in that mentality like you have to you know like kids can't be heroes, right, right, kids right. can't be risking their lives sure. because he has kids and and they end up um, like two of his kids die. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember what they did with them on the show. But anyway. But I think what's going to be cool is I think they're going to bring in the Titans and they might kind of bridge all that together because I don't think they're going to do a league. I don't think they're going to do a league. I don't even think they're going to do a league like they did on, on Smallville right. where it was kind of like a really loose thing. Right, right. I just think that they're going to they're gonna all work together. I don't think there's going to be anything official. So we're going to go into Arrow now? Let's talk about Arrow. Yeah, let's talk about Arrow. Um, good episode. Uh, I liked it. Uh, I wasn't... the wasn't one of my all-time favorites, but it was it was a good episode. I enjoyed it. It was uh, I liked it because it was kind of a growing moment for for Ali. Uh, it was like yeah, I'm just because you were gone doesn't mean that you can come back here and tell us what to do. Well, the thing is, like, we adjusted. We we survived without you. The thing that and that's kind of yes and no for me, uh, because yes, they did survive without him, um, roughly, but they did it right. Um, and I agree, like him snapping on Thea, which I understand why he did, because he's he's in the moment. He's sure. fucked, you know, he's got a lot going through his mind. He's got to save Laurel. But then seeing Arsenal stand up for her, it felt awkward a little bit. And I mean, it's supposed to, because like, that's like, he's back talking to Oliver, you know? Right. He's like, he's. He's like trying to put down yeah. all of it, and, and and it was like, but it was supposed to feel awkward. But the whole point, like, oh, you can't, you know, you can't do this or this. Um, you know, them standing up like that. I mean, it it was good, but for, at the same time, I'm like, 
he could just be like, okay, I'll see you guys later and not worry about you and do this on my own, you know, type of deal. But I he's mean, not. He's, he's right, reached right. that. He, he, he couldn't just, do that at this point. Like, in season two, he could have done that. Right. But now, now he's reached this point where he does depend on them. He's brought them into this world, and they're part of it. So whether he goes off and decides, well, you guys, I'm going to go do this by myself, right. they're still going to do it. No, sure. Absolutely. It's their city, too, and they're kind of... They've taken that upon themselves, and they've understood that now, that it is their city, too, and they're going to do this regardless of what right, he says. Right. So it's not, like, they don't need his permission right. anymore. And I think it was that kind of, like, humbling moment for him where it was like, all right, so I'm not, like, the do like the top dog anymore. I don't get to decide, you know, who does this anymore. People are going to get into this into this game without me. Right. And I think where, this is go where, where they're going to take that, I think they're going to have, they might have Wildcat, not necessarily fully active, but they should have Wildcat come back yeah, and, and kind of do, do that, you know, do, do his own thing. And um, because you're going to have Adam, and he has zero say in Adam. He right. doesn't even know that's coming. Right, right. So when, when the Adam comes out, it's going to be somebody completely unrelated to him, realistically. And he's going to have to just deal with it. Yeah. And, like, he doesn't even have a place, he doesn't have a leg to stand on on this. Because what's going to happen inevitably especially now at the end of the episode he goes off to train with uh, with Dia yeah she's gonna become speedy she's gonna join the team yeah my problem but they might my not, problem but they might not play that they're I mean they have to they don't have to I mean they don't have to they but they should to. but they should they should but I don't, they should I don't, and I, but I, don't I don't necessarily think she should be his like sidekick I think her and Arsenal should be like a team and he, like well, yeah they, they would be his support but yeah. like they're they're their own team yeah, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be against that, but uh, I really don't think they will. I don't think they're gonna go that route. But here's my problem. Maybe I mean I mean I could be wrong. I guess if I think about it a little bit, I mean they did already. Now she knows how to fight. She knows so how to fight. She knows how to why, shoot. Why do that if you're not gonna go that route? She knows how to fight. She knows how to shoot. Right. I mean, that's the thing. And now she distrusts Merlin again. Yeah. So there's she's now back in all these. Although corners. that was a fast. Fast turnaround. I mean, he, she, she hasn't even found out what well, because, he's done. Because, with her. I mean, she, but she's always been like that. I she's mean, she always has. been like that. She's always been kind of quick to to jump to whoever side is best right, at sure. the moment. Because even with this this kid who she doesn't even know, she's making out with him and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she's jumping to him because he's he seems stable. It's Which like, I she's like just that she noticed that, and then like. I'm glad they didn't get to play that off that long. I'm, oh my god, I'm so happy about I that. So I was so mad that about that character. Yeah. I was so mad about it. I was like, uh, dude, like all this training, you can't tell me that she's gonna figure this like she's not gonna figure this right. out. You can't right. say she's never gonna figure this out. Right. So I'm glad that she figured that yeah, out. I'm glad. I'm glad that that kid and the the the, the friend both say it right. Yeah. They both say Ray Shaw Gould. Yeah. Which is I'm weird to me why everyone still says it wrong. I'm I'm really yeah, it's weird to me. Not even that everybody, but I'm I'm kinda it's it's weird to me that Merlin still says it wrong. And I, he's I been feel under like they, his I feel like, like they might I feel like it might be part of something. Just because you it was a very specific thing where you have these characters who are like super devoted and they call him Raish. Maybe the people who aren't devoted to him don't call him Raish. That's Maybe it's part of, you know, I, I hope they explain it uh, or at least normalize it so that everyone's saying the same damn thing. Uh, what I don't like is the end of the episode. Oh, you need to conquer your fears, blah, blah, blah. You need to get, you know, badassery about you again. And there's only one place in the world you can do that. Leanne Yu. I was like, motherfucker. Like, Deathstroke's still there. Like, how you gonna put him on Leanne Yu again? I was mad as hell. They, like, got out there, and he's like, as soon as they were in the jungle, and she's like, this place is awful. awful. He's like, it might be awful to some people, but to me, it was home. And, like, as soon as they, like, soon, before he even said it, I was like, they're on fucking Leanne you. And he turned around, and the and boats in the the, 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 yeah. the the gulf and everything, and I was like, son of a bitch. Yeah. Because that, now we're going to have this stupid-ass moment where this is how Deathstroke gets free. But I'm okay with it. I enjoy Manu Bennett as Deathstroke. I enjoy him as an actor. I'm happy that they're bringing him back. I, I, they're I, not going to bring him back. Oh, they're going to bring him back, my man. No, he's yeah. going to get free. And I feel like maybe he will have his wits about him, at least temporarily. And he's going to go and he's going to be with his you know family or whatever. Because he's at this point, he he'll has be to back. have at least the daughter. He'll be back. If, I, if, I, if memory serves, I think he has a daughter at this point. He'll be back. And I'm happy. 
menu. Thank you for coming back. I, 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 you guys don't understand. I watched Spartacus. He was Crixus on Spartacus. That guy was just awesome. He's a great actor. Well, he I'm, is a great I'm, actor. I'm, I'm I like the character. I just, it, it's one of those things that at a certain point, I feel like you're running out of ideas, and then you're just going to say, all right, well, let's bring this person back. Well, how do we do that? Well, let's put these people back where he well, is. Well, no, because he will have to come. I mean, he can't just stay locked up. He has to come back. At some point, he has to come back. He can't just... He's destro. He's got to get yeah, out Yeah, but I think he's got to come back in a different way. I think it'd be one of those things that... Like I said, if they're going to do Titans on on CW, you know, the Titans could just, like, happen to land on there. Right. Which is plausible. Well, I don't like, think he's going to... We got some shenanigans landed on the NU. Oh, here's this guy. Right. He's I mean, try I don't kill think us. he's going to come back as, as, as strongly as he first appeared with sure. the whole vengeance. But at the same time, because like at some point, I feel like at some point that Mirakuru that was making him crazy, he'll realize by himself that he was going crazy. Because I figure in while he's in that prison, at some point he's, he's had time gonna, to think about he's it. Got, he's had some time to think about. <laughs> he's had that, time for reflection. That like he was seeing a seeing visual, like he was seeing a dead person, I right? Mean, and that was clearly because of the Mirakuru. So, so. Hopefully he's more stable and like they change how he comes back. Not with a vengeance, but maybe some other way. So that's kind of what I'm seeing. Cause, man. Cause I, 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 I like. Cause that's, cause that's the injustice league right there. You got, you got your Deathstroke. You've got your, your Grodd. Mm -hmm. You've got. Um, I mean, you could throw Captain Cold in the mix, but he's kind of part of a different group. Uh, but Reverse Flash. You've got. Um, I still don't understand. That's, Merlin going, probably that's, be that's that. going back, but uh, yeah, I mean, I just I, it was a fun episode. I can't wait to see the next one. I can't wait to see what they mm -hmm. do because they showed a little clips, and obviously it's them on the island, and and uh, you see Oliver gets hurt by his own trap, and she, I like it because in the trailer she's like, "What did you put that there?" He's like, "I did," and he pulls out the stick out of his shoulder, and um, so I can't I can't wait for the next. So this overall, this episode was it was good. I liked it. I liked um, it. I, I, liked it. I liked my biggest thing that I liked about the episode was she figured out this guy was playing her. Right. And I'm glad they did it fast enough. I mean, yeah, he was there for a few episodes, but he wasn't really there sure. that long. Sure. Or for that. As soon as she let, as soon as he came in close, realistically, like real close, she she picked it up, and which makes which is what really makes me think that she's gonna be be part of the group because she's got this really high level of skill now. Mm -hmm. It'd be wasteful not to put her no, on the and team. I think you're right. I mean, I just, I just, I'm always worried when we say, oh, they're going to do it. They have to do it, and they don't do and they it. they don't so do it. I'm trying to be optimistic. <laughs> Cautiously optimistic. Cautiously optimistic. There you go. I get it. I get it. Um, but I, overall, it's just, I mean, Flash, Arrow. They it was just, a good episode. I like the fact that, that Oliver kind of still, like, even though he doesn't, you know, he realizes he doesn't need to sign off on, right. on, uh, Dinah being, which by the way, I like the fact that in her vision she was being called Dinah Laurel Lance. Uh, someone, else, someone else online put, pointed that out as well, and I really like that, yeah. and I hope they, sw they switch and call her Dinah. Um, yeah. So, they, uh, <laughs> the, so I, I, even though he didn't have to sign off on her, he was like, you know, you know, this, I know, I know, I know the city's in good hands, all of your hands, and she was like, thank you. I will say <laughs> this, I'm very happy that, uh, the dad finally knows. Uh, oh man, that was rough. Yeah, that, that was, was rough. rough. That was like I knew it was gonna happen, and for a second I thought she was gonna back out again because she she backed up. Before. If she did, I would have been pissed. Yeah, but she because she backed up before. For a second I thought she was gonna back out again, and I was like, damn. And uh, as soon as she said it, he was. Oh man, that that hurt. That was rough. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was it was definitely rough, but uh, I'm glad they got it out of the way because. Uh, it was just one of those things I didn't really care to be in this series. Like, I get it, she didn't want to hurt him, but after a while, he, he's got to... I think it's weird that he was super cool with her being Canary. He was like, I, I get it, I get it, your sister's out there gallivanting around. Yeah. And, you know, there's somebody else in a blonde wig and leg leather. It's you, right? And he was, like, happy about it. And I was like, what the fuck? Not necessarily <laughs> happy, but he realizes that he's not going to stop her. Right, she's so, gonna do what she needs. Right, to do. so I think he just showed good, you know, a, a good feeling because if he was trying to convince her, it would just be a same old story. Right, not gonna be able to do it. So 
I think the reaction was fine. But yeah, the, the way he took, oh man, it was, it was good. That that part of it too. That that was the two things I was very happy to see. In, it was in a really good episode. episode overall. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So can't talk about Agent Carter since you didn't see it. I completely forgot that I didn't watch Agent Carter. So well, uh, oh well, we'll watch. We'll talk, we'll talk about yeah, two, we'll talk two, two next episodes. Time. How many more episodes we got of that? Um, these might be the last two if I think about it. This might have been six or seven, and then there's yeah because uh, Agents is coming back. Okay. So which that's so they definitely cool. want to finish it before Agents comes back. What do you mean? They want to finish Agent Carter before Agents. Of yeah, I mean it's in the same time slot. Okay. Yeah, it's in the it's in Agents time slot. Just making sure I didn't know how they were because I know they kept saying mini series, but the way it's been playing out. Yeah, it's you know we've got maybe a couple more episodes left. If that, it, it is it is kind of hard to see like where it's going yeah. and how fast. Because if they don't finish it, well then you you're being an asshole right. and you're not you're not doing a mini series. Right. Well, we'll talk about that next week when we talk about two episodes. Yeah, we won't have Constantine next week, so that's we fine. We won't have Constantine uh, for, for a little while. We're going to be back to the same amount of shows. Yeah. Uh, but then uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. comes back, and yeah. uh, but that replaces Agent Carter. Yeah. So we're pretty much at the same level of shows. Yeah. This, is, this would have been the only week with extra, but yeah. since you didn't watch it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you have any thoughts on the shows, let us know down below. Uh, hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we still have our, our Facebook contest going on, so if you get us to 100 likes, we're going to give away those uh, Audio-Technica headphones and the uh, the router. So definitely you know, jump in on that. We're going to post the rules for the contest closer to the, the 100 likes. And, um, yeah, yeah that's, about it. that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.